topic, the sum and the product of the roots of the quadratic equation. Objective, solve the sum and the roots of quadratic equation. Good day everyone. Our topic, the sum and the product of roots of quadratic equation. To get the sum of the roots of the quadratic equation, we have the formula of negative b over a. Then, for the product of the roots, we have c over a. Take a look at the given quadratic equation. We have uh, x squared plus 4x plus 3 equals 0. So, in order to get the sum, the product, and the roots, we need first to identify if the given equations is written in standard form. Ngayon, yung 1 and 2, tingnan natin kung naka-standard form ba siya. Again, the standard form of the quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Since yung dalawang examples, naka-written na siya in standard form, all we need to do is to, all we need to do is to find the value of a, b, and c. For number 1, For number 1, the value of A is 1. The value of B is 4. Then the value of C is 3. And then, to find the sum, just substitute to the given formula negative B over A. So we have negative times the value of P which is 4 times the value of, uh, over the value of a, which is 1. Then we have now negative times 4. We have negative 4. Divide by 1, we have negative 4. So the sum of this quadratic equation, or the sum of the roots of this quadratic equation is negative 4. How about the product? So by using C over A, the value of C is equal to 3. And then the value of A is equal to 1. Then we have now 3. So the product of the roots of this quadratic equation is 3. Now, paano natin ma-identify uh, yung roots using the sum and the product? In order to find the roots of this quadratic equation, we need to find the factors of 3 that give the sum of negative 4. Okay. Ano tayo ng factors to 3? Na kapag pinag-add mo, ang magiging sagot is negative 4. Pero bago yun, hanapin muna natin yung factors to 3. Ang factors to 3, we have 1 and 3. Ang tanong ko, meron pa ba? Wala na. Ito lang yung factors to 3. Let's try to add. 1, and, 1 plus 3, we have 4. Okay, so, possible na ang maging sagot is 4 or negative 4. Pero ano yung sign? Ilista natin yung mga possible signs para mas lalo nyo maintindihan yung sum. We have 1 and 3, negative 1 and negative 3, negative 1 and then we have 3, positive 1 and then negative 3. Ngayon, sa mga possible sign ni uh, 1 and 3, Saan dito yung kapag pinag-add mo is magiging negative 4? We have this one. Ito, ito. Negative 1 plus negative 3. We have negative 4. Therefore, the roots of this quadratic equation is negative 1 and negative 3. Next example, para mas maintindihan nyo pa na given yung product and sum, makukuha natin yung roots. Next example, number 2. So, yung number 2, nakaritin standard form na siya. So, ang gagawin natin is, hahanapin yung values ni A, B, and C. For number 2, the value of A is equal to 1. The value of B is equal to 1. Negative 3. The value of C is equal to negative 28. Then, in order to find the sum, we need to substitute these given values 
to the given formula which is negative b over a. So by using the formula negative b over a, substitute the value of b which is negative 3, then the value of a which is 1. Then after, then after that, simplify. Negative times negative 3, we have 3. Divide by 1. Then 3 divided by 1, we have 3. Therefore, the sum of this quadratic equation is positive 3. Next, the product. By using c over a, we have the value of c. We have negative 28. Divide by 1, then we have negative 28. So, the product is negative 28. Ngayon, paano hanapin yung factors? Ay, paano hanapin yung roots, brother? So, to find the roots of this quadratic equation, we need to find the factors of negative 28 that gives the sum of 3. So, ano yung, mga fact, ano yung factors sa 28 na kapag pinag-add mo, ang possible na maging sagot is positive 3. Ano? Ilista natin yung mga factors. The factors of 28. We have 1 and 28. Next, 2 and 14. Meron ba sa 3? Meron bang uh, number na kapag pinag-multiply mo sa 3, ang magiging sagot is negative 28. Or 28. So, wala. 4, meron ba? Yes, meron. We have 4 and 7. Meron pa ba? Wala na. So, these are the factors of 28. Ngayon, saan kaya dito sa factors na ito? Na kapag uh, pinag-add natin, or possible na kapag pinag-add natin, ang lalabas is 3. Okay, tama ito. 4 and 7. Ngayon, ang tanong, pag pinag-add ko ito, sir, 11 eh. So, ang gagawin natin, lalagyan natin siya ng mga sign. Pwede isang negative, isang positive, dalawang negative, or kung ano man yung lalabas dito, ano, na magiging sagot is 3. Ilista natin yung mga possible sign. We have isang positive 4, isang 7. Then, isang negative 4, isang negative 7. Isang negative 4, positive 7. Then, positive 4, then we have negative 7. From this possible sign ni 4 and 7, saan dito yung kapag pinag-add natin, ang lalabas is 3. Positive 3. We have negative 4 and 7. Pag pinag-add nyo yan, negative 4 plus 7, we have positive 3. Therefore, the roots, the roots of this quadratic equation is negative 4 and 7.